previously on Survivor Roleplay. Oh, I don't like the look of that. Hey, hey, win. Get this thing corrected. Penny, whatever's the matter? Oh, win. I've just lost my job at the garage. What? Why? You're the only good worker that garage has. Uh, win. Can you come and fix this bail? It's gonna tip over. They think I've been stealing money from them. That's crazy. You're the most honest and hard-working lady I've ever met. Told you. Forget about it, Dennis. Tell that to the manager. He's convinced I stole the money. Come on, let's sort this mess out. Thank you, Wynn. I'm afraid we'll have to go in the tractor. It's going to be a little cosy. I wonder why nobody ever listens to me. Oh well, I should probably get used to it. That's the manager, over there. His name is Mr. Plant. Right. Excuse me, Mr. Plant? Yes, how can I help you? Please can you explain why you think Penny has been stealing money from you? Yes, I most certainly can. For the past week, I've been recording our income against the cash we've been paid. I've discovered that each day there's a £10 discrepancy, which means someone has been removing money from the till. The only employee here who has access to the till is Penny. Hmm, well £10 isn't much. Are you sure there's not been a simple calculation error? Excuse me? Are you questioning my abilities? Anyone can make mistakes. So, you're saying that I've miscalculated by exactly ten pounds every day? Yeah. Anything's possible. I've worked so hard to improve this business, and you have no evidence to prove that I've actually stolen any of that money. Penny's right. This business would be nothing without her. I'm a loyal customer solely because of the hard work that Penny's put in. When I need a repair doing, Penny does it fast and to a high standard. When I needed a new tractor, Penny knew exactly which one was the best for my farm. You're not giving her enough credit, and to dismiss her without any evidence is quite frankly despicable. Oh, you think so? Well, shall I call the police and see what they make of this? The police? I haven't done anything. Please, leave the premises immediately, the pair of you. I don't want to see either of you here again. Don't you worry, we're leaving. The next time you hear from us will be through our solicitor. Come on, Penny. Let's go. Are you really going to pay for legal advice? I don't think we have a choice. I promise I didn't steal that money. Penny, I know you didn't. But how can we prove it? The money must have gone somewhere. Are you sure that no other employees use the till? It's usually only me. Yeah, but is it ever left unattended? Yes, all of the time. In that case, anyone could have helped themselves to it. Hmm. What is it, Wynne? Someone's been here. Well, we left Dennis here. But unless he's gone off on a rampage, there's no reason for these oil drums to be out in the middle of the yard. On their side, they were over there, next to the bales. Win, come here. I found something. What is it, Penny? It's a note. It says, water extracts long lost. What does that mean? <laughs> Your guess is as good as mine. It's probably someone having a joke, probably Flitch. I'll look into getting legal advice later, Penny, but first I've got to do some work here on the farm. I'm sorry. I understand. Thank you for your help. You're welcome to help out here if you want. I'll happily pay you. Thanks, but I think I need to go for a walk. Of course. See you later then. Yes, see you soon. Well, we're going to do some work. I've just put those drums back over there. But yeah, we need to prepare for the cows. The cows are way overdue. The fields which we have here are now... Well, actually, Peter did do two fields of uh, cultivation, but these ones are all behind. They'll probably not be drilled until the spring now, because our focus is going to have to be on preparing food for the cows, and of course buying the cows. We'll have to go to an auction for that. But this field here needs to be cut before the summer is over. We need to produce hay. So we've got a good crop, it's just, I'm just not being able to keep up. 
with the actual jobs. So we need to go and pick up a mower. Now I know that Peter has got a mower. Well, it, the, basically the mowers are over at Peter's. Um, we can borrow one of his and we can put the rear one on and then we can hopefully cut that field pretty quickly. So let's jump into the case and we'll get over to his farm and we can put one on the front linkage, one on the rear linkage and we'll get going. I don't know if I should take the front loader off. I guess we don't have time. Right, let's get this started. And we'll get over to Peter's farm. I really hope that we can get it cut pretty quickly. Um, then we need to get the tether and of course a windrow. We do actually still have the windrow here. So that's fine. But the next job will of course be tedding. Not sure where Dennis is, I guess he's having a day off. Well, an afternoon off. Okay then, so here we are in the field. Let's get these mowers underway. And really, I want to be getting as close to the edge as possible on the first lap. But I have to say, it's so nice that we now have a tractor with a front three-point linkage. Obviously we have the John Deere, but it isn't ours. Actually, I really should return that to Peter been so busy and obviously with my foot it's not been that easy but we have increased our working width over the previous year thanks to Peter obviously I don't own this I don't own the mower at the front I wish we did but if we can keep borrowing it from Peter then it's fine he's been very helpful I think he is more keen than I am to get the cows so yeah we do need to speed up he is being helpful yeah, it's looking good. It's actually quite a big field, this. And it has been a while since it was cut. But with it just being pretty much me working here, I just can't keep up. Like in the end, I don't think this field managed to get fertilizer in the spring. But we should get enough hay off it anyway. It should be fine. So we will keep this going until we have finished. Get it all nicely cut. And then really, it does need quite a bit of time to bake on this side the grass needs to dry out on this side before we turn it but we are gonna to have to rush it a little bit we can't rush it too much though because otherwise when we bale the hay the bales can actually heat up and self combust which would be uh, disastrous we don't want that as for the note I don't know and as for the tractor the Ferguson tractor which got stolen I have heard from the police they said they currently have it in one of their yards. I think they're still looking at it, but we should be getting it back soon. So that's good.
Well, we are done when this piece here has been mowed. There we go. Brilliant. Okay, feel finished. So that now needs to bake. I think what I'll do is I'll go and have some lunch. Uh, we'll give it a few hours and then we'll be back in here with the tether and we'll get it tethered. But we won't row it up today. We're going to have to wait until tomorrow, or actually maybe even a few days, before we can uh, get that rowed up because it needs to dry. It needs to dry enough. I will of course take the mowers back, but not yet, because I'm not too sure if I'm going to be cutting another field in a few days time, for silage or something. I need to speak to Peter. Uh, again, I don't think Peter's around today, I think he is very busy with his other farms. Because he also has a farm at Letton as well, which I've never been to. Maybe one day. Anyway, I can't run. My foot is still recovering. Uh, let's go and see if Dennis is in here. Have a chat with Dennis. I'm sure he is. Dennis? No, he's not. I must be in the house then. <sighs> I'm amazed he's never picked up that hammer. Well, I will make use of his uh, workroom. His fairly immaculate workroom, except for the bath, which has seen better days. He has his monthly wash in there, apparently. Ah, let's sit down. That's good. Right. Yeah, we'll get back out there in a few hours. Uh, what are you doing? Have you lost your voice? So, it wasn't Penny after all. You've been helping yourself to the till. I hope you have a good explanation for this. Well, <laughs> my break was cut short considerably. It ended up being about three minutes long. I had to go across to the next town to go and rent a tether because I sent Peter a text and he said that he didn't have one or it was in use or something at his other farm. And obviously we're barred from the local dealership now, which, to be honest, isn't a concern when there's someone like that running it. You know, I thought they were all right, because, well, whoever Penny spoke to, um, who allowed her to work for me whilst I was recovering, was obviously really good. But this is the manager, or the owner, I don't know, one of the two, Mr. Plant, and, um, yeah, he's, he's horrible. He's really horrible. So, yeah, they need to really figure out who their good workers are and who their bad workers are. Because to lose Penny would just be an absolutely horrific business decision. She's the best ever. So it has indeed cost us about 200 pounds, I think it was 200 pounds, to rent this tether. But it's fine. Uh, it's going to be worth it still way cheaper than buying the bales in. We do not ever want to be doing that. I never do get to speak to Dennis. Still, probably no bad thing. <laughs> anyway, here we are. Let's get this grass turned. See if it's dried out at all. Yeah, that's looking pretty good. It's turning it nicely. Mind the tree. Don't want to wrap this around a tree. We'll lose our deposit. But because of the size of this thing, because it is rented, we could go for something much bigger. This is going to be such a fast job. Don't know if Penny's back actually from her walk. Um, if I, I don't even know how long that took going to pick this up. It wasn't too far away, but further than. Uh, Lunar Ridge. I don't actually know the place name either. Okay, there we go. Lovely. Tedding complete. So that just needs to bake. The sun needs to bake it. 
so nice when the only job that needs to be done is done by the weather. And yeah, then tomorrow we'll bring new jobs. Windrowing and bagelling, and then of course storing. Now, we've paid for a day's rental, that was the standard, so there's absolutely no point in returning this just yet. We'll probably do another field, I would have thought. Um, so for the time being, we'll just put this up in this top yard. Should be okay here. There we go. And I think this time I really will go and have a good sit down. Oh, Penny's back. Hi, Penny. Did you enjoy your walk? Yes, thanks. I'm feeling much better. I've been trying to figure out that strange note that I found. Oh, really? I think I've worked it out. Kind of. Who's this? It looks like Mr. Plant. Oh no. What's he doing here? Penny, may I have a word? Why, so you can falsely accuse me of something else? I... I want to apologise. It's come to my attention that it was in fact not you that stole the money. I know it wasn't. I already told you that. Please accept my sincere apologies for the mix-up. I'm happy to announce that you've got your job back. No. Excuse me? I'm not coming back. What are you saying? We need you. Well, I'm sorry, but you should have thought about that before you wrongfully dismissed me. You can't create a cut that deep without leaving a scar. You may well need me, but I'm sorry. You've just lost me.